ENS is a decentralized naming service for wallets, websites, and a lot more. A little bit better explained on Chris Bell's website, Ethereum uses long crypto encrypted addresses and users are forced to copy paste them or use QR codes and all of this complicated stuff, right? But to make it simpler, chrisbell.eth, for example, is associated with this Ethereum address. And as you see up here, chrisbell.com is associated with this IP address right here. That's the whole idea behind this ENS naming service. It's very simple. Right now, I'm going to explain how it actually works and how you can get one yourself. You can also check them out on OpenSea, which I will show you in a second. Now, if you want to actually purchase the ENS token and become part of the movement, you can do so on ZT Global right away. So first and foremost, what I wanted to see and uh, tell you about is the fact that you can check this out on OpenSea. So you can find out all of the names that are associated with different wallet addresses. And if you actually check it out, if you copy and paste this address into your, for example, you want to withdraw money and you want to paste this. Well, once you paste it, it will actually input or output the actual Ethereum address. It makes everything a lot simpler. And I do imagine there will be a lot more use cases for this kind of stuff in the future. So essentially, you type it into the sandbox and you can see the address pop up, confirm it and send money. Very simple. That's, for example, if you want to get your parents to send money via cryptocurrencies, it makes it a lot simpler than looking at a 32 alphanumeric uh, code, right? 32 digits. So this is the actual app. And if you see that it's green, that means that it's available to register. So once you enter the app, you'll see this right here. You need to type the name that you want to search, search it, obviously connect your wallet before that. And if it's green, it means it is free to actually register. If it's gray, it means it's not available and somebody else owns it. But if you want to know where it is, you can see the buy register names uh, below. So you can check it out and uh, you can request to actually register. You can find it on OpenSea. You can check this out. You can, uh, you know, message the guy and ask him, do you actually if, if he wants to sell it to you or something like that? And if it's blue, it means that it is your signed address on it. But you need to be careful because if you have multiple Ethereum addresses, you need to be, uh, you know, very careful about which one is connected to the actual name and which one is not. Because as I can see from here, one address is one name dot ETH. So it's your Web3 username. No more sandbox usernames. It transforms this whole address into a name dot ETH. And ENS is the most widely integrated blockchain naming standard with over 760K names and uh, over, what did I see right here? 600K? Yeah, 690K listed on OpenSea. So it's not really a market for buying and selling them. It's just a market for, you know, making it very, very easy to get your you know, crypto address on paper. No more copying and pasting long addresses, as they say right here. It works for pretty much anything and, uh, you know, NFTs included. Works for decentralized websites. So if you want to have a, for example, ens.domains.io and you want to transform it into a uh, actual address, well, it's very simple. And every time somebody types it, he will be redirected to your address. So you can see right here, mysite.com, vitalik.eth. It's essentially a decentralized and blockchain based uh, .com service, something like that. And they actually provide traditional domains as well. So the native name suffix for ENS is .eth. But you can also use ENS with DNS names, like classic DNS, right? And uh, it supports most of them, including .com, .org, .io, .app, .xyz, and .art, plus a lot more. They have their wallets, they have their apps as well. You can check them out and the browsers that you can use with this actual service. And that pretty much concludes the ENS review. Make sure to check out this article on Chris Bell if you want to find out a detailed review of how it actually works. It's very simple. All you need to do is just head on over to the ENS website, get into the app and start using it. It's very simple and it's not too expensive. I believe it's less than a thousand dollars to get your own uh, name. Now, lastly, what I wanted to do is take a little look at the technicals. The chart is looking pretty nice. We did make somewhat of a double bottom right here and we're currently moving towards more upside in a nice uptrend so we're clearly making higher highs and higher lows and currently we're at an intersection right we're at a crossroad we're seeing the price move up but at the same time we have a strong zone of support so even though we have these big red candles i believe we might find a support around this zone right here and continue upwards for another push into the 24 dollar level because that does provide a nice zone of resistance so 
that's it for today's video. Thank you all for joining in for another one. Make sure to check out ENS on ZT Global if you did enjoy it. Obviously, check out the app as well and, you know, OpenSea and everything. It is a really cool concept and I do believe it will be applied to a lot more uh, things in the future as well. So definitely check it out. Uh, you know, check their socials as well if you want to find out more about what they're doing. And you can actually claim some ENS if you owned an ENS name before October 31st. So definitely uh, press this button right here and you can participate in the governance as well in the future. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for joining in. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.